This video is brought to you by Skillshare. So how do you clone yourself using a phone? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna be showing you how to do in this video. We're shooting on our phone, editing on our phone. I promise it's nice and easy. We're gonna walk you through it step by step. It's coming up. Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video, and today we're talking all about clones. Clones with your phone. This is a really great fun effect, which is surprisingly easy to create. I'm gonna show you exactly how, and I am, with a little help from him along the way. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. They are offering the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description, a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. But more on that later, because right now, I wanna show you exactly how to shoot your clone footage for the best results possible. Camera and tripod. Now, it is crucial when shooting your clone footage that your camera does not move. If it does, the effect will be completely ruined. You can shoot this on just about any camera, but for simplicity, I'm using a phone today. This is then attached to a tripod using a phone holder. Now, I have my phone on a tripod pointing towards where I'm going to shoot my scene. I'm going to sit here to the right of frame, and I'm going to have my clone sit here to the left of frame. Lighting. Now, you want to have complete control of your lighting to pull this effect off. If there is even the slightest lighting change while shooting your clone footage, this effect will be ruined. Block out any natural light coming in from the windows and use whatever lighting you have to light your scene. I'm going to use this giant softbox from Nanlite because it's the best light that I have. But you don't need big expensive lights to pull this effect off. You could just use a cheap softbox like this one here. You can pick this up on Amazon for around about 30 quid. Use your bedside lamp. Use the light lights that are already in your room. It really doesn't matter. The most important thing here is that your lighting is consistent and it doesn't change. Now, we're nearly ready to shoot, but first, just a couple more very important steps. The first is to lock focus and exposure. On a phone, you can simply do this by tapping and holding on your screen. If we don't do this, the lighting or exposure might change and this will completely ruin our shot. And the final step is to create an imaginary line down the middle of your scene. It's really important that nothing crosses this line whilst recording because if it does, arms and heads start going missing and the effect is ruined. Okay, so if you followed all of these steps, it's now time to start shooting. Let's start really, really basic with the most simplistic version of this effect. For this, I'm going to shoot a 10 second video. I'm going to sit over here on the right hand side of frame for around about five seconds. And then I'm going to sit over here on the left hand side of frame for another five seconds. This is all the footage we need to create a basic clone effect. Now let me show you how we're going to edit this footage using a phone. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is grab yourself some editing software that has the mask tool. The best free app is the VN app, that's this one here. This video is not sponsored by VN in any way, shape or form, but it is free, it works, and best of all, it's available on both Android and iOS. Now, once we've opened the VN app, we're going to click on New Project, select our clip from the camera roll, and then hit the arrow button at the bottom right-hand corner. We've now imported our footage onto the timeline. Perfect. Now, the first thing we're going to do is cut the fat and get rid of any footage that we don't need. There's this bit here at the beginning where I'm just getting into position. We don't need this. So I'm just going to scroll forward until I'm sat down or where I want the scene to begin. And I'm going to hit split, which is this scissor icon here. Now, we don't need this highlighted clip, so we can tap the delete button, which is this bin icon, and that will remove the clip from our timeline. I'm now going to scroll forward all the way to the point that I'm just about to move over to the left hand side of frame. Okay, I'm going to split the clip here, scroll forward to where I'm sat down again and hit split again. We don't need this highlighted clip. So again, let's remove it by hitting the delete icon. And we're now left with just two shots on our timeline. One where I'm sat on the right hand side of frame and one where I'm sat on the left hand side of frame. Now let's merge these two shots together using the mask tool. Now masking is an effect used in many Hollywood films to create all types of visual effects, but today I'm gonna to show you masking in its most basic form. This is perfect if you're just starting out. I will delve deeper into masking in a future video, but for now, if you're someone looking to learn more about visual effects or video editing, then I highly recommend checking out the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives that literally has thousands of classes on topics including illustration, design, photography, mobile filmmaking, video editing. So 
So if you're looking to up your game when it comes to video editing and effects, then Skillshare have a ton of classes on offer. I recently took a class on green screening by Paul Trillo, and he gave some great tips. Everything from coming up with creative ideas, shooting and lighting videos using special effects. Definitely worth checking out. And if you're looking to shoot or edit better videos, or you would like to take any of those classes, you can do so for free if you are one of the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description. I've talked about Skillshare before, for it is one of the best resources for creators. So if you're a creative looking to learn, explore and discover new things, then Skillshare really is the place to do it. With thousands of classes to fit your schedule and skill level, you can binge knowledge to your heart's content. So you've got nothing to lose. Use the link, take a class, soak up some knowledge and get creative. Now let's jump straight back into this edit and pick up exactly where we left off. Now we've got two shots on our timeline, one where I'm on the left hand side of frame and one where I'm on the right hand side of frame. Let's merge these two clips together using the mask tool. First thing we're going to do is select our second clip on the timeline like this, scroll through our effects all the way until we get to the end and see forward. We're going to hit this and this will move our second clip up like this. We're then going to drag this clip so that it's directly above our first clip like this. We now have two clips, one on top of the other, but this top clip is hiding the clip underneath. So we need to mask out part of this top clip to reveal what's happening underneath. And we can do this by using the mask tool, which is this one here. We're then going to select linear. And the first thing that you'll notice is that it has split the screen horizontally and we want the screen to be split vertically. So I'm just going to rotate the mask by using two fingers on my phone so that the line is now directly in the middle of this footage like this. And as you can see, we've now merged these two clips together to create the clone effect. Now, things get a little bit trickier if you want to interact with your clone. What I've just demonstrated is the most basic version of this effect. If you're looking to interact with your clone, this all comes down to timing. Take the opening scene for this video, for example. For this, I had to memorize two people's dialogue and then leave gaps for my clone to talk. Let's take a look at the original footage. I start by delivering my lines on the right of frame. So how do you clone yourself using a phone? Leave a gap for my clone to talk and then move over to the left of frame and fill in the gaps. I shot this multiple times and used the one with the best timing. Also, I opted to wear the same clothes as my clone, but equally you could change a hat, you could change a top, you could completely change outfits. It's totally up to you. Just go and have some fun with this. If you found this video useful, do let me know by giving it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, you can do that by watching one of my other videos just over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.